Hey everyone, this is Noah from Elementor. Today we'll be going over the Woo Products widget with which you could display WooCommerce products on your page with only a few simple settings. So first we'll search for the widget and drag it in. And once it's dragged in, you will see the content area of the widget where you have full control over the layout and filter settings. Now note that the style of the widget is influenced by the theme style settings for WooCommerce. So in the layout here, you could set the amount of columns and the products that are displayed with the widget. So for columns, you have between one and six. Say you could choose two, two columns, or six columns, etc. And for the products count, you could set the exact amount of products that you want. For example, two or 20 and so on. Next for the filter, you could choose the source. So you have either products or manual selection. For the products, you could set the categories and tags of the products to display. And for the manual selection, you could set the exact products that you want to display. And we'll get to it right after this. So for the products, I set the categories. So for example, I have a category of hoodies and t-shirts. All right, so now you could see that the widget is displaying only the products of the categories that I set here, meaning hoodies and t-shirts. Same goes for the product tags. I could set here the exact tags that I want to display. So say I have a fashion tag in my shop and camera. So as you can see, it's displaying only the camera and fashion tags of my shop. Next we have order by, where you could set the order for the products displayed with the widget. So you could set it by date, title, price, popularity, rating, or randomize it. And then you have order where you could set it as ascending or descending. So that was for the product source. Next, we have manual selection source, where here you could actually search and select the exact products that you want. So say I know I have a product named blue jacket, all right? So here, as you could see, it automatically recognized the blue jacket for men product that I have in my shop. So I click on it. Now, as you could see, it automatically displayed the blue jacket for men product that I chose. So for this source of manual selection, I also have the order by and order options. So again, order by, I could order it by date and all the way to randomize it. And for order, I have ascending or descending. Now that we went over the widgets basics, I'll just show you a few quick examples of how to display this widget along with other elements. So if we scroll down here, you'll see this really nice section, a full width section with a background image and overlay. And here we placed a really nice button. So this is actually a rather standard WooCommerce products widget. As you could see, it's still at default, the columns for columns and for products count and with no filter at all. And it still looks great. And the next section is divided into two different columns. The first column with a heading and text and a button. And the second column has the widget with two columns and two products count. And the filter is product categories. I set it as suits. So as you could see, it displayed two products from the suits category of my shop. So basically this widget is very helpful for those of you building a virtual shop website. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.